Sorry, fam. How y'all doing? I'm doing pretty good, and that's for a couple of reasons. I watched State of the Game, and I gotta say, it was a good one. Welcome to episode 13 of Righteous Thoughts. And today, I want to talk about why this particular State of the Game is a telltale sign of Division 3's arrival. So hear me out. One aspect of business that I've learned throughout the years is that whenever there's a system that works, that system is usually implemented over and over again. At the end of the day, Ubisoft and Massive Entertainment are a business. So, in order to ensure the success of that business in the future, that's almost always the best way to do it. If any of you have played The Division 1, you know all about what I'm about to tell you. And if you didn't play it, then just listen up. And this is actually the reason why I'm saying Division 3 is coming. So towards the end of Division 1's life cycle, there were some very good quality of life changes and updates. Before that, there was the normal fun and dry phases that we all go through in this game. But after Survival was released, it brought new life into The Division. From that moment on, on, it just was really good patch 1.7 came which was the dawn of the hybrids and with it came the ninja bike messenger backpack my favorite patch by the way then 1.8 then global events soon after the optimization station came along all this within the last eight months of the division one now ask yourself why would they add all this greatness so late in the game i'll tell you why because massive is trying to get everyone who is not playing or still playing for that matter, whoever is burnt out and fed up, they're trying to get them interested in the game again. Also for promotional purposes, so others can give it a chance who've never played Division. I'm sorry to say, but this is when the best content is available towards the end. It's a sad reality, but it's true. So once Massive has everyone back on their side and loving the game again, because come on now, you know it's a love-hate relationship. But yeah, once it's all sunshine and rainbows, that's when they announced the Division 3. Trailers then start to come out, people getting hyped, speculating on how it's going to be, which makes everyone re-infatuated with the Division 2 again, because it's the only thing that can connect them with what's coming. In my mind, whenever I see the continuation of a franchise I love, playing the current game is like therapy to me, I'm trying to imagine what it'll be like. This whole business strategy happened before, and I really believe it's happening right now. Again, don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to the announcement, and I'm sure you are too. But here's where a potential problem can ensue. That business strategy I personally don't like. Waiting until the end of a life cycle of Division 1 and 2 to give us what we've been asking for the whole time. That's not cool at all. If the Division 3 doesn't come correct upon release, what I mean by that is people right now are fed up with the BS and some of you are patient. You have hope. Others have given up completely and some are just hanging on by a thread. So if on release day, Massive doesn't have survival, underground, last stand, conflict, with multiple maps and a team that's specifically there to balance PvP, an optimization station, and finally a dark zone worthy to be called one. I mean a wide open DZ, not separated into three parts, that when you open your map and see that giant landmark in the middle with such an intimidating presence, giving you that feeling of hesitation about the thought of even entering. That type of feeling. If the Division 3 doesn't come with this, I really don't believe it'll have much of a chance at success. But one more thing, this also needs to come with something else, an aspect that'll make it all come together. Bring back that original feel of Division 1, the movement, the gunplay, the heals, but balance them out. Take the good from the Division 1 and build upon it. Because when Division 2 came out, there was a disconnect. It's like a completely different game. I mean, the movement is not the same. Nothing is the same. So what they need to do is take the good from Div 1 and build upon it. Because not all is bad in Division 2. As always, I'm optimistic by nature, and I have a lot of patience, so I'm rooting for them on this one. And I believe they'll get it right this time. I really do. They've had two years of experimentation with this game. That's enough. Let's get back to the roots. That's all I got to say in this episode of Righteous Thoughts, and I want to know how you feel about what I said today. First of all, do you think there's even going to be a Division 3? And if so, what are you looking forward to the most? Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Until I see you in my next video, be right out.